it really makes you wonder, like, if Sheriff Keller is this bad, like, how bad are, like, the deputies he trains? Like, we saw a couple deputies in the last episode. I think one of them deserves a promotion, probably. <laughs> yeah, but let's, uh, I, let's look more into that. I found some, some footage of uh, some of Sheriff Keller's uh, training videos from when he did Ooh. some recruiting back in the day. Oh, really? Interesting. How'd you find this? Oh, just the dark web, you know. Welcome to the Riverdale Sheriff's Department. I'm sure you two will fit in great here. Do you take your coffee with cream, maple syrup, both? Uh, Sheriff Keller, uh, please, sir, just syrup, of course. Just one dash. Two dashes for me, Mr. Sheriff, sir. Ah, fellow sweet tooth, you'll go far here. Now, what questions can I answer for you? Just curious, will we have desks here at the station for our files? Huh, uh, I'm not sure why you'd want to look at that kind of thing here at the station. I like to spread my files out at home in my living room. Gets great light in through the south-facing windows. That's also where I usually put up my murder boards. Oh, oh, like your investigation wall. Uh, sure, I guess you could call it that. Mine used to be really drab until my son introduced me to Pinterest. They look so charming now. I'm able to make such great use of negative space. Of course, oh, I'm putting that down in my journal. Now, uh, where, where do we keep equipment? Uh, I, I just bought this new microphone for interviews, and I just wanted to know where I can store it. <laughs> you new recruits are so funny. Recorded interviews. Police work doesn't belong in your TikTok account, kids. Just, you know, go out there and talk to people. I bring in each individual in the station for questioning. Whoa, no, no, no. Talk to them somewhere they feel comfortable and try to get them in as big of groups as possible. Three to four at the very least, maybe in a nice penthouse apartment. I thought we were supposed to separate witnesses so they can't collude on their stories. You've been watching way too much Cops. Don't get me wrong, it's a great show. I like to watch it myself while I pin my favorite murder boards. But those Hollywood actors they hire will hardly teach you real police work. I, I thought they filmed real no, police. No, when you're interview people, you wanted them all in the same room so they can be all on the same page. Best case scenario, all your witnesses tell you the exact same story, word for word. Oh, so since the interviews aren't recorded, we just take notes. Oh yeah, of course. I take some notes afterwards. Here, you can look at my files on the Blossom case. Wow, this has got me more jittery than a June bug. I've heard all about this case. Let's see him. <gasps> Here's one. September-ish. Talked to boy at school. Uh, September-ish? Yeah, you don't want to bog down the case files with too many details. Remember, feelings are as important as facts. I bet you talked to a lot of kids at the school to get more information about that Jason Blossom. Sure, a few. Mostly I waited for them to come to me or for the principal to bring them. You know, police work is a lot like fishing. You cast some ideas out there and then you sit back and wait. You have to be very patient. Oh, so, so how do you track down leads then? Let me tell you the two most important leads in every cop's arsenal. The high school newspaper and Cheryl Blossom's Twitter. Wait, isn't she a suspect? Sure, but her hashtags are pure fire. Follow at ShareBear, her public one, obviously, and also at HothouseFlower. That one doesn't have as much information, but the pictures are great. She has some really big, beautiful brooches. Oh, nice. Real nice. I'm adding her right now. That's it. Let's get you on your first assignment. Why don't you two go on up to Thornhill and ask Cliff and Penelope Blossom who their top suspect is this week? If it's someone who got some C's on their report card, we might even be able to arrest them later. All right, Whoa! let's do it! <laughs> what a great find, Sarah. That's uh, That sheds so much light on the process. Yeah, it's a really uh, interesting approach that he has, unconventional, but who knows, maybe he's really onto something. Yeah, it's less of a Sherlock Holmes go to the actual crime scene and more of a... I don't, semi-retired police officer. 